Welcome back. Now joining us on desk is Karen Vega to bring us up to date on everything Hollywood. Thanks, Ben and Nina. Hello, Metro. Welcome to this week's segment of Entertain Met. I'm Karen Vega and I'm here to catch you up on everything that's going on with our Hollywood celebs. From ring to puke wars and everything in between, let's get started. We kick off this week's segment by giving all the boys a treat. 29-year-old <laughs> Mila Kunis takes over the title of Sexiest Woman Alive. The crowning was done by Esquire magazine who features her sensual look and bare back on their November 2012 cover. When asked how she feels about being the sexiest of them all, Modest Mila said that she is much more focused on staying true to herself and quotes, what I do and who I am are two different things and they always will be. What happens with people is they lose sight of who they are and they become either who they want to be or who they are perceived to be. Well, we sure know one thing. If Mila is the sexiest woman alive, Ashton is definitely the most envied man out there. Rapper Nelly was detained Wednesday night while police officers searched his tour bus and found heroin in addition to a loaded gun and massive amounts of marijuana. Police found 36 small baggies of heroin and over 10 pounds of weed, an amount about the size of a large bed pillow, to be exact. This is a perfect example of why you should say no to drugs. Well, apparently Lady Gaga took a page from the Justin Bieber nausea book and puked on stage this past weekend while performing Edge of Glory in Barcelona. During her presentation, Gaga puked not once, not twice, not even three, but four times. Oh, someone please stock up on Pepto-Bismol because this means war, puke war. And the scandals continue. Whitney Houston's 19-year-old Bobby Christina is engaged to her 22-year-old adopted brother, Nick Gordon. Talk about keeping it in the family, jeesh. Bobby Christina's family isn't exactly thrilled about this awkward engagement. Who would be? Speaking about engagements, there seems to be a battle of the rings going on in Hollywood. In case you've been living under a rock, Jennifer Aniston is engaged to fiancé Justin Thoreau, while Angelina Jolie is engaged to Jen's former hubby, Brad Pitt. It's speculated that Jennifer's ring is in the 12 to 18 karat range with a radiant cut center diamond. The estimated price is well, $500,000. The soon-to-be Mrs. Pitt is rocking a 16 karat blinger, which the own Brad Pitt himself helped co-design. Shockingly, this gorgeous ring is also around the half million dollar range. Hmm, so which of Brad Babes wins this war? We'll let you decide, Metro. Now bringing it back to the Mile High City, our very own Leanna Duarte steps into the interview octagon with Kevin James as he throws down for his new movie, Here Comes the Boom. Oh, hey, Principal Betcher. You're late. Again. Come on, man. I was teacher of the year. Here Comes the Boom is a great comedy for the whole family. Kevin James plays a high school biology teacher who fights in the MMA in order to save the school's extracurricular activities. We have to cut $48,000. Or raise the money. Oh, and who's going to do that? We will. Kevin James trained for 14 months to prepare for the hits he took while doing his own stunts. Do you even know how to do that? No. No, I do not. I got, banged, hit. I got oh, yeah. banged up a little bit, you know, but uh, it, it was okay because it was all part of it. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm glad it hurt at the time. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, even more than my face getting punched hurting, my ego hurt when I tried to punch other people and it didn't hurt them. So if you're looking for a movie that will make you laugh until you tap out, be sure to check out Here Comes the Boom in theaters today. Leanna Duart, The Met Report.